that's a wide variety of experiences and encounters. And the book follows uh, Bridger as he, uh, as he went through his life and tried to first be a fur trapper and then be a fur trader and leader uh, and then being a fort owner and then being a scout and a guide, um, trying to be helpful to as many people as he could. And in many cases, trying to prevent uh, any kind of uh, warfare with some of the indigenous peoples. So, so that the first point that I'm making then is Bridger is a fascinating figure who actively participated in six decades of Western history. The second point is that Jim Bridger is someone you would want to meet. Uh, in fact, people of his day, they often remembered when it was that they first met Bridger and they described him and they told about, uh, you know, what they thought of him, what they had heard of him and what he said to them and they said to him. Uh, he was a very noted celebrity. Students in school uh, were well aware of Fort Bridger was in their school books in the 1840s. Uh, and then when sometimes when they came out for the 1849-1850 gold rush, uh, they said, oh, this is the fort we read about in our history books or our geography books. Uh, 